Yes, here we go. La Pavoni, lever. We're going to have and uh, do the whole thing. Water. Let's go ahead and get our pitcher ready. Some nice filtered water. We'll get it tasting really nice with that. And let's just, we're going to go ahead. We use the Berkey. Do it however you like. Saves the plastic bottles. And we'll go ahead and open these. And we're going to do two machines today because that's the way I usually do it. So it's completely reality, <laughs> reality TV in a way. We're not going to um, pull any punches or anything like that, but we're doing this thing the whole way through. So you can see what, um, how easy it really is and incredibly fun and the reason you kind of want a lever machine and especially an older one like this that works so good. And these are both two switches. One is the rocker, one is the on and off with the uh, double rocker one too. They both essentially work exactly the same. It's just a little different switch design. Just like the minimum maximum with the toggle switch, it's the same thing. Just a little different switch design. So there we go, we're all watered up. And we'll get these heating and let's go ahead and we'll grind. I like to grind very fine. Not to a powder where it's a dusty powder, but very fine. And the best thing about that is that when you go to tamp, you don't need to tamp as hard. And I do like to use a hem. This is my favorite tamper. I have a few tampers I've got. Some are light. They're fun to use. But I found that these heavier metal tampers are much more in control. You really don't even need to push down. I can kind of... Um, I'm doing this with my other hand a little awkwardly. But you can just kind of spin it on there. It's weighed itself in the fine grind to almost do it for you. And then you place them in the machine. We all know how to do that. Or if you didn't, that's how you do. So let's do it again. We'll do the same exact thing. And I do it this way. I'm not much for, um, you know, all the measuring and all that stuff with the weights. I, I can pretty much, I like to just get to know it. And we're using like a medium roasted bean, just a standard stock bean. I've had beans from all over. And you know what? These are just as good, if not better, than uh, many fancy beans. But there we go. Same thing. You just spin that in. The weight of the tamp almost does it for you. And we'll place that one in, and if you notice that uh, by the time we've done this, we've almost heated up halfway. We'll do this one in a nice um, big latte cup, and we'll do the other one in a single shot, because a lot of people like just a shot of espresso, so we're going to do both fashions. And Yeah, there we go. We're coming up to pressure. We'll bring that one down to one, so it'll settle and ready for espresso. And I think we'll steam on this machine here, and it's almost there too. And you know what? These machines steam milk really good. I know people want to switch to the one hole. and I did for a little while. I just went back to the three hole because they work really good. And, you know, honestly, um, of course, you have to be steaming the right amount of milk. A small amount is probably harder to steam than a larger amount. But, you know, on some of the longer ones, I can just tuck this under and uh, it'll hold the whole thing and it'll almost steam itself. Keep it level and let's go ahead and look up. I like this thermometer. It um, kind of shows you just before 140, so where the little red line is. It's a milk frothing thermometer, and that's where I've done. So we got that all set. We have both machines. One is idling, one is coming back up to pressure. We'll go ahead and wipe that off. I like to soak those overnight too, but we'll wipe it each time, even though it might get a little dirty sometimes. It's always a good idea. and. There we go. We're going to go ahead and raise the lever. And then we'll go ahead and just wait for a drip. The other machine is still coming up to pressure because we steam milk, so we're going to raise that one back up as we go along here. And Yeah, you see the little drip come out, then it's time to go. You know, sometimes it takes longer or shorter a little bit, but just, you know, you know what it is. And let's look at that right down the center. We're using a bottomless... Um, they're kind of neat. They're all about the same when it comes down to it, but the bottom list is kind of neat. That's what I primarily like to use. And look at that. It's just going to make it lovely. And then pull the lever down. It's uh, relatively simple. Of course, you can try to make it complicated by doing too many things or listening to too much, but medium stock bean, nothing special. Look at that. Beautiful 
So this one's back up to pressure, so we're going to turn it down. And we'll turn the other one off. Once you're done with your coffee, turn it off and let the machine settle. If you're going to make another one by the time you want to turn it on, it'll cool just right, be quick to heat up. And actually, it's really, really hard to overheat those. I know there's a whole industry on these little products and stuff. And get them if you want, but I don't use them anymore. There we go. Look at that. A beautiful, a beautiful one. And let's go ahead. The other one's up. With the pressure, we're waiting for it to drip. I got a little distracted looking at something else. We're just... And there it goes. Let's go ahead and... This one's just going into a small cup. Sometimes you get a little when you start a couple drips to the side or something. It's not a big deal. It's not going to change anything. You don't have to do like 700 posts on those drips. And... It's going to coincide to the center there, and there it does. Yeah. Well, that's what we like to see. And, God, it's just so, so much fun to do these, and you're going to have, we're going to have two excellent coffees right after this. And there we go. There's the other one. So we're under 10 minutes, and it's not that long. And, of course, turn the machine off when you're done. Don't let it sit there getting hotter and hotter. And look at that. Beautiful. The perfect amount of a little bit of crema, not this big thick thing. And let's go ahead. Now we usually have lattes, so I'm going to put the shot in a latte. A lot of people like to make their espresso into a little cup and transfer it. Or if your cup's the right size, you can fit it under there. Let's go ahead. Beautiful milk, nice and fluffy and some excellent steamed milk. And Voila, look at that. There we are, and um, couldn't be easier. No really fancy tricks, just grind fine, tamp light. I like the heavy tamper, it kind of does it itself, and subscribe, we're gonna do um, some really good projects coming up, more fun.